today's video we're talking about winter tips for plein air painting and we're also going to check out a couple of painting sessions the first Rough. session that we have i'm going to go out and paint this uh this tractor that's buried in the snow i also have this nice little golden hour late light piece well, if you're interested only in the painting skip forward and look for those and by the way a lot of these tips that i'm going to be sharing with you are from a 10 year old thread on the website what canvas and the first tip is wear something that is warm wind is the thing that is going to make you very cold some people think that polar fleece is a good thing to wear and other people cite wearing like a windbreaker jacket like i have on now some people are saying that they wear long johns underneath their jeans but i just wear what i normally wear just jeans don't, don't eat the yellow snow it's a little game of fetch what type of clothes would you wear if you had to go out and paint all day in the field shorts and t-shirts <laughs> jorts cut off jeggings okay Another tip that we have is to carry your things with you in a sled. Your dog on your belly. Wait, what? Your dog on your belly. Oh, carry your dog on your belly. No, the next tip that we have is to carry your goods with you, your plein air things, in a sled. So you can tow your things. Yeah, you can like, if you're walking like way back into a field, you can carry all of your stuff. Aldro Hibbard was a painter in the mid-century of the last century and he did that he carried his stuff with him in a sled probably a rifle too because those guys probably wanted to like it's like van gogh that's how he died that's right Kids are like, bang, bang. <laughs> wait what <laughs> <laughs> well so a tip to use is to not carry any sort of a firearm with you when you're going out painting how about that Forget about the sled. Don't shoot anything while you're out there. Especially kids. And another thing you can do, <laughs> another thing you can do is squeeze out your paint onto your palette before you leave your house. Your when it's cold out and you have little gloves on your fingers, you don't want to be dealing with trying to untwist some paint cap. Another tip is to not paint with a French easel, which is what I normally do because I'll tell you that those wing nuts are a major pill. You good? The dog just tried to get a steak. Those, those little wing nuts are a pill to deal with after a couple hours in frozen temperatures. So I just pre-mixed all my piles of color. Color of the sky behind me is quite deep. When I'm looking into the sun, which is what I'm painting, it's much lighter, but it is darker than the snow. So I had to create that contrast by mixing the sky color a little bit darker than the snow color. And this, you know, that's something that I mixed. Uh, oh, this is the back, back tree line that I mixed up. Uh, there's a tree line back there with a bluff even behind that. My ma masses are mixed and it's gonna hopefully allow me to lay this thing in rapidly and go back in and add color shifts after that. I've laid my masses in. I've painted everything that is a shadow shape with violet paint. I think it's. I'm not here to fix this tractor, I'm here to paint it. So, all this kind of stuff, the engine, and all that. I don't paint it accurately. Somebody who has knowledge of tractors might do that. I'm here to just grab onto the major shapes and paint that. Go. On a cold day, as an oil painter, the oils stay workable. I'm gonna add a little bit of this gambling medium to my paint 
um, it's gonna thin the paint out and make it spread out just a little bit more easily. This painting is laid in. I'm gonna take a minute to look at it in reverse. I'm gonna stand back about 10 feet, hold up a mirror, see anything that needs to be corrected, and then I'm gonna move forward and I'm going to add color variations into all the different masses that I've already stated. was a backlit scene I could have used a painting umbrella an umbrella that was clipped to my easel and I could have also put down some piece of black fabric onto the ground that would have stopped some of that reflected light off of the snow from coming into my eyes uh, let's get out of here and get home for lunch what's up hold up we got ducks Oh, like a two bringer. Yeah, that's what it is. That would be a good thing to take with you. Yeah, I mean, you could always, you're going to put the paint on the thing before you leave. Then you to... That's a good idea. French easels, wing nuts, not very fun to deal with. My best advice to you would be do something that you don't have to use wing nuts. Pichard box, um, one of those systems that has like the mass that holds the paint the canvas the panel one of those things not a french easel <laughs> we already said no alcohol now you're talking about cigars great you said no alcohol no but that's our next tip no alcohol because what does alcohol do to you i'm smart yes it takes away your creativity it also lowers your body temperature yeah, it lowers your body temperature and it makes you get fatigued quicker when it's cold outside. I really didn't know that. It's one thing to be outside and walking around and, you know, you're pretty warm when that's happening. But the minute that you're standing still... And the wind's hitting you. Yeah, when you stand still outside when it's cold, that's when you can get really cold. And alcohol is only going to make you even colder. Leave the schnapps at home. First thing we gotta do is pick this guy out. Panel, dog, hat, brush, golden hour. Let's see how fast I can get set up. You can see the lights all gone out there so I just have to use my visual memory the important thing was that I mixed and painted the lit areas now I can just go back in and figure out the rest I just signed off on that one. I'm falling into the snowbank here. It's been a great golden hour. I think I've more like a golden half hour. This one's gonna go into the drying rack and I will paint another day. As always, thanks so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.